and welcome to a Dragon Ball Collection update video. Haven't done one of these in a while, so I uh, hope everyone had a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. My God, it's 2015. We got a freaking a new game on the way in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. We got a, a new movie in Revival of F. Frieza's coming back. It, it's already looking like it's going to be a crazy year for Dragon Ball. I'm excited. Uh, sure, a bunch of other Dragon Ball fans are excited as well. But uh, in the meantime, I uh, thought it would be cool to show off some of the stuff that I've got in the last few months, a few things that I got for Christmas. Um, yeah, so let's let's get right uh, right to it. First thing that I got that I want to show off is this Super Battle Collection uh, Super Saiyan Trunks. Um, I kind of wanted to, I, I don't know why, but I thought it would be kind of cool to have all of the Trunks Super Battle Collection figures. And I'm missing one. The only one that I currently don't have now is the Kid Trunks Super Battle Collection. I think there's there's five Super Battle Collection Trunks figures. So I have I got this one, which I was like, oh, it'll be perfect. I'll just put it right next to my Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku from GT, volume 31 and 32. I've had this for a long time. This was actually one of the first Super Battle Collection figures I ever got, and I got this off of Amazon for pretty cheap. This is one of the cheaper Super Battle Collection figures, so I got lucky, and I really like uh, Super Saiyan Trunks. I actually, I kind of like the way he looked in GT. I don't know. I mean, it, I know a, a lot of people didn't like it with the coat and the blue scarf and all that and, and the, the shorts. I thought it looked kind of cool. I don't know. It was a different look, but um, I'm really happy to have that. And it looks great next to that uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, another thing that I got is another Super Battle Collection Trunks. Right over here, Super Saiyan Trunks from Z. Now, um, as you, I, I put them right beside my, my other Trunks. And I, so I like this little line of Super Battle Collection figures I have right here. There's my other GT Trunks. Um, the thing I, I always found weird about this, now I love this Super Battle Collection figure, but you'll notice the toy itself, it's him in his Saiyan armor. But the picture that they use on the box is him in his, like, uh, black tank top. And I'm pretty sure that picture's from uh, Bojack Unbound because his, his hair's really long. So I thought that was kind of weird, but it's a cool picture nonetheless. And it looks awesome right now. I used to have um, a Super Saiyan Goku uh, in this line of Super Battle Collection figures. And uh, so I, I took it out. Put the trunks in there because I really wanted these two trunks to be beside each other. Two trunks. Um, and, and so I was like walking around trying to find room for the Super Saiyan Goku figure. And I could not, I, I couldn't figure out where I wanted to put them. So what I ended up doing was just opening up the box and uh, putting them up here with uh, these figures just sitting up here. That's that's him right there. So I just put them right up there. What I ended up doing was just, uh, I kept the box. It's in my closet. I kept the box right here, uh, as you can see. It's one of those um, those Super Battle Collection reissues, which I don't I don't really like these boxes because I I don't know that's it's it's like I, just, I don't like the color. It's like a weird beige sort of color, and I don't like I'm really weird about this, but I don't like that it doesn't say the volume. I really like see you know volume twelve, volume five, volume twenty one. This doesn't have the volume number on it. I, I do not like that. And I don't know, they just don't look as cool as the original ones. So I decided to take them out of the box and put them up. But I kept the box in case I ever decide to put them back in the box. Um, speaking of boxes, okay, now this, I thought this was kind of funny. Check this thing out. Now this is a big, uh, or it looks like a really huge uh, Brawly figure that I got. Now it says Crane King. Well, you can't really see it on, on my camera. It's really blurry. This camera sucks. But, um... It says Crane King on it, so I'm guessing that it was like one of those crane machine uh, toys that you could get. And I, and I think it even says on the box, uh, let me see, let's see, Crane King. Uh, yeah, for use as prize in Japan only. So uh, yeah, I'm guessing that this, this is a prize in one of those crane machines. But um, you see they got a... Super Saiyan Gohan, Ve uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Trunks, Super Saiyan Goten, and Super Saiyan uh, Kid Trunks. Um, I only got the Brawly because uh, they're they're kind of expensive, and I really really like Brawly. He's my favorite movie villain. Um, now the the box. Look at now. Look at how huge the box is. Right. I don't know if you can tell how huge this box is. I opened up the box and. Um, uh, uh, gonna reach over here okay 
Look at how big the figure is. Look at look at the figure. And look at the box. Look at that. Look at <laughs> Look at that. Look at how huge the box is in comparison to the figure. I thought this figure was going to be massive. And then I opened it up and I was like, uh, it's still really cool though. It's um really, really nicely sculpted. I don't know how well uh, you can see it on the camera, but this is a very nice sculpt of Brawley. I, I freaking love Brawley. I love his character design. I like, I like the green, the line green hair, the, the wide eyes. He's jacked. His outfit looks cool. Just Brawley is the man. So, uh, more Brawley figures are always cool in my book. And then he comes with this uh, stand. Because if you try to stand him up on his own, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's not going to happen. He will not stand up on his own because his head is so big. But, um, yeah, I think I actually have five Brawley figures now. So, that's always good. That's pretty cool. So, um, what else? What else did I get? Oh, yeah. I got a Oob figure up here, Majub, actually, because he's wearing the uh, the white pants and the vest that he got after merging with Boo uh, in GT. Now, Oob, uh, it came to my attention the other day. Um, well, not the other day. It was actually a while ago. But I was like, you know, I don't have any Oob figures, which I just, I never really cared for uh, Oob as a character. <laughs> I, just, I just never really cared for him. I don't know. I mean, he's supposed to be... Uh, the reincarnated version of the most powerful villain in all of Z, and uh, he's just kind of kind of lame. I don't know. I never really liked Oob, but be that as it may, I really wanted a figure of him because uh, it's just to say, I hey, I have an Oob figure, you know. <laughs> and I, I do like his character design. I like the Mohawk. He is a cool looking character. I just never really and. Yeah, and yeah, never cared for him. And uh, it looks really... Uh, now, I think this is... He came in a box, and I took him out of the box because I wanted to put him uh, beside that Piccolo. I think they are called uh, the Original Collection. I think I actually... Yeah, over here, Original Collection. Yeah, they're like kind of statue-like figures that come with these stands. Um, I just took Oob out, put him on his stand. It has a little clear stand that says GT on it. And I put him uh, up here next to Piccolo uh, for two reasons. Two reasons that I did this. One, Piccolo is a reincarnated version of Demon King Piccolo. Oob is a reincarnated version of Boo, of course. And they're both blasting. So Piccolo's blasting this way. Oob's blasting this way. So, bam. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? So, yeah, I got an Oob figure. Uh, pretty happy about that. And another thing that I got is over here, you can't really see it, but uh, I gotta reach all the way over here. Okay, I got a Dragon Ball Z soundtrack. I got this off of Amazon. Uh, I mentioned a while ago that I wanted to start collecting Dragon Ball Z soundtracks because I love the cover art to these soundtracks. Look at how awesome that cover art is. I, I, it's so cool! This is uh, really like early Z era artwork. Gohan's got his uh, classic bowl cut. Um, you know, you got all of the classic characters in there: Yamcha, Tien, Kami, uh, just all, all that good stuff, man. I I, I love it. Uh, I would I want this as a poster. Like it looks really cool. So I saw this on Amazon and I'm like, that just looks awesome. I love that artwork. I gotta have it. As for the song list itself. Um, I'll be totally honest, I'm not exactly sure what all's on here. Uh, Chala Head Chala, because that's always written out in English. Um, these are all Japanese, don't know what these are. And then this says Zenkai, so I'm guessing it's Zenkai Power. But, um, it's pretty cool. This came out in 2006. So, uh, yeah, I just thought it would be cool to own another soundtrack. I'm slowly trying to, uh, collect some more soundtracks, add to, add them to my collection. On the inside, here's the actual CD. Cool picture of Goku. Um, so I have three soundtracks now. I got this, the Plan to Eradicate the Saiyans one, and a Dragon Ball one. Um, but as I've said before, the reason that I don't really collect them all that often is because I, I love the artwork so much. I want to be able to show it to really prominently display it in my room, but there's just nowhere to put them. They're the only place that I can really put them is in that stack of uh, that stack of CDs over there. That's uh, 
all of my PS1 Dragon Ball games and uh, a few of my soundtracks. So uh, this is the newest one, and it looks really cool. I, I really just got it just because I love, love the cover art. But, um, yeah, that's another thing that I got. And um, two more things that I got. Two more things. One Dragon Ball related, one not, but it's just so cool I really want to show it. So check this out. Bam, King Kai shirt. How awesome is that? I, I saw this and I absolutely had to have it. I love the Kaio symbol and uh, I usually wear black t-shirts. So I, I just, I had to have this. This is really, really cool. Been, uh, been wearing it lately. And I got, now this is not Dragon Ball related, but it's so freaking cool that I have this. Look at this. Look at that. A Revenge of Shinobi t-shirt. How freaking cool is that? I don't know how many of you watching this uh, grew up with and played the Sega Genesis, but this was one of my all-time favorite Genesis games. I freaking love the Revenge of Shinobi. Awesome music. Yuza Koshiro is the freaking man. He's a legend. I love this game. So, yeah, two awesome new shirts. Awesome Dragon Ball stuff. And that's about it. That's really all I've been getting uh, recently. I haven't been going as insane uh, with the collecting as I normally do. Things have been a little tight financially, so um, I haven't really been able to splurge as much as I would have liked. But, uh, you know, I'm uh, pretty pretty happy where my collection is right now. Pretty content, so uh, it's not a big deal. But um, anyway, yeah, pretty... Not a... Not a really long video. I've uh, just been kind of rambling on and on, but um, yeah, it's looking like it's going to be an awesome year. I'm really excited about Xenoverse. Oh yeah, I pre-ordered Xenoverse. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, I have pre-ordered it. I am really psyched to play it. Um, I'm excited about Revival of F. I really want to see what they're going to do with Frieza because I like Frieza. Frieza is awesome. And um, yeah, so that's about it. I appreciate you watching my video and uh, I'll see you guys later.